I have no idea what is going on. With that tree behind me, it's a bit crooked and it's annoying me. Morning guys, I'm Tom Blakemore. I teach travel and sometimes triumph and I hope you are good. This is the final week before Christmas. This is gonna be like a week in the life of a primary school teacher and the theme is going to be Christmas. Although, yeah, that tree's bugging me already so I'm gonna have to sort that out. This week is going to be crazy. I know for some reason that Christmas time is always super duper busy. I was speaking to someone the other day and they said, oh, Christmas, it must be like the last week. They said, uh, it must be really easy because you can just like watch films and everything. And I was a bit like, yeah, yeah, films, films, that's all we're gonna be doing. When in reality, there are so many different things going on this week and I'm just trying to get my head around everything. It's a bit like, you know in Super Mario, there's that like final boss level where just absolutely everything seems to be going on. It's like that, but at the same time, I'm also looking at the next level because I'm also looking at the next terms of planning. A range of different things that I've got to sort out. I've got plays going on. I've got a range of different things I've got to go and see. Festive fairs, presents to sort out for the kids, presents to sort out for the teachers, Secret Santa. Honestly, I'm sure it's going to be fine, but right now it feels so busy. Silly me. So, we're going to get started. I wasn't very well yesterday, but hopefully I can feel a bit more motivated to do well throughout the whole of today. So, let's go. I got the children to decorate the tree. I just got the Christmas tree up one day and just said, right guys, just go and, go and decorate it. And this is the, uh, this is the result. <laughs> the snowman's got tinsel seatbelt on and... Uh, uh, yeah. I thought, mm, mm, we'll, we'll just go with it. So it's the end of the first day of the last week before Christmas and the day's just gone super duper quickly. And the amount of things that I've got to do by the end of the week is just, it's just a little bit. A little bit crazy and a range of different days spinning around in my head. I kind of feel like a duck at the moment. You know when you see a duck sort of like glide across the water and it looks so peaceful on the top, but then underneath you can see its feet just sort of like spinning away. And that's me at the moment. Like I look calm and collected, but underneath I'm like, <gasps> Good morning everyone, it's day two, it's Monday, and I managed a grand total of about four and a half hours sleep. That's nice, as you can imagine, I'm quite tired. However, last night I managed to go to the shops. I think one of my biggest stresses this week is things like Secret Santa and like, not so much gifts for presents, because I'm doing something slightly different, um, but little bits and pieces that I need to get for the end of the week that I'm just not getting a chance to get at the moment. So I managed to go to the shops. So today's going to be quite a good day. I've got uh, like a long assembly in the morning and that gives me some time to come into here and sort out learning environments ready for next term. So that is a fantastic amount of time. Then children are doing a concert rehearsal for something they're doing tonight. So that also gives the children a great chance to, to sing some songs basically. Um, today is going to be a long day. I have got everything sorted in terms of resources from yesterday, so that's always good. But it's gonna be a long day. I'm currently in school at the moment. It's called seven in the morning. And I think I'm gonna be in school until 8 p.m. So that's, that's over 12 hours. So it's gonna be long, but I'm sure it's gonna be Okay, it's a, it's a festive fair, so I'm quite excited. That was, so I managed to go to one of the shops yesterday, a bit like a home bargains type place. It's called Daiso here in Dubai. Um, just to get a Santa hat, it's just a good way to at least have something for that festive fair. So just doing some learning environment creation, if you like, and yeah, it's going for a twinkle, twinkle special at the moment. One of the tips I wanted to show you is uh, this. Whenever you're chopping something out, so you can see I'm chopping a few sheets out here. If you, what are these called, paper clip some of the edges together, then you can cut multiple pieces out and that ultimately just saves you a little bit of time. Chopping out, you move the paper clip so that it still stays together. So it's half six and it's time to get going. So I'll be completely honest with you guys, today is gonna be an absolutely crazy busy day. This is one of my last academic days, so it's just gonna be, yeah, completely chuckle block. So I feel like I'll talk to you a bit more about what this day's been like tomorrow. Okay, 
Okay, so <laughs> today is Christmas jumper day, and I've lost <laughs> I've lost my voice, so I can whisper, but I can't talk properly. Now I don't really know how to teach properly today, but I'm sure it will go okay. Lots of hand signals. Going to be doing. Lots going to do lots of Christmas activities today and the children are also going to have like a Christmas party type thing. Uh, I've never lost my voice this badly before. Just goes to show I'm just constantly using it at the moment with YouTube and uh, teaching and at home it's, it's just constant. I can do this croaky thing I've just discovered. I'm going to be doing a few different activities today and I'm also going to be playing as part of a a band so the children are going to do some festive songs so fingers crossed this goes well wish me luck oh oh no i thought my voice had come back So you're going to have to excuse this weird voice again because it's still not got any better and I don't expect it to. I've talked way more than I probably should have done today. I tried the whole teaching with my hands and yeah, it worked and the kids were showing me attention, you know, doing the whole 1098. I got children to do countdowns for me if I need people into the carpet. I got children to ask other children to do things, all those sorts of things. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, it came down to there's certain instructions that you just need to say especially when children ask you things like yeah I can write it down but that takes time and so today's been a really really good day there's been some fantastic activities and the children really really loved it we had a really good little carol sing-along type thing in the hall I've got to play the drums which I don't always get to do so that's always good and the children then came and had this huge feast I always say that one of the things I love about like teaching in Dubai is that the parents are so supportive and and they brought in a play teach so it made this huge feast across the year group because we've got quite a big year group uh, back in the UK I would have been paying for all of that myself for definite and that was really really nice that, that that was able to happen the children always enjoy it we did a bit of an arts and crafts thing so that we were able to decorate for the feast and they made these little little cone people oh, these little things like it's very twinkle heavy today, but the children did enjoy it. They made some other things in other classes, and I've just... Glue lids. Why? Why is there never any glue lids? So today's been a really good day. I, I don't expect my voice to come back for tomorrow, but let's cross fingers, and I hope that it does. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I actually have a voice for now. So I'm going to go through some of the tips that I would give you for Christmas week because it can be a little bit chaotic. So number one is to get organized because if you're not organized, the disorganization of the Christmas chaos will soon get to you. My second tip will be to make sure that the children know exactly what is going on throughout the day and to have a structure for the day. So don't leave too many spaces blank and we'll talk about those blank spaces. Um, but also make sure that you know what's going to come up and you communicate that with the children because if, if it's not communicated and you make changes all the time then you'll notice the behaviour starts to slip a little bit because they'll also be confused. So. Yeah, at the same time, you need to communicate with parents. So if there are events and things like that, you need to make sure that the parents know that. Now that will seem common sense, but I know that it's sometimes you miss things as a teacher and with how busy teachers are, it's, it's often quite hard to think about everything in advance. You're thinking about what you're doing in the day. So just make sure that that's communicated with the parents. Now, you're also gonna need a lot of patience because you are tired and the day is still long, especially if you're in the UK and you've got dark mornings and dark nights. So make sure that you've got that patience because 
at the end of the day, it's not going to be long until you have that break. But at the same time, yeah, it's just about patience. So just make sure that you're able to be that little bit patient and understand that there are going to be changes throughout that week. I would always recommend having time fillers. Now, there are times where you'll have like an assembly or something like a Christmas assembly that drags on through a lesson that you were going to have. So that assembly was longer and you'll end up with like 20 minutes. So always have like a range of different activities, whether that's games that you want to play with the kids or little filler activities like crosswords. You know, those little things that can really, really help. I really like the resources that Twingle do make. Shout out to you guys. You're doing well with that. And uh, yeah, just, just use those things wisely. I'm probably gonna have some more tips by the end of today, I don't know, but yeah, today's gonna be a really good day. It's a Christmas cup day or something along those lines, so the children get split into their specific houses and we do a range of Christmas type activities. I have a flight in like 16 hours. I still haven't packed, so by the time you see this video, I'll be in the UK. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, it fell off. <laughs> It is the end of the first term. Saying that is crazy, and it's crazy how quickly that time has gone. It's been a 14 week first term, so seven, seven week half terms, if that makes sense. So it's been quite long, but quick at the same time when I start to look back at what we've covered. And it's been a great term, it really has, and I've really enjoyed being in year three this year. The final tip I would give you for the last week of school during Christmas, I would say just enjoy it because there are many activities that you get to do that you just don't get to do during the sort of like main academic weeks, if that makes sense, because all your assessments and reports are done, or at least in my case. So yeah, still have that structure in place with some lessons, but also just enjoy that time that you get to spend with the children and really really get to know them even more than you probably already do. I'm going to finish the video there because I do have a flight very soon. I'm also going to lose my voice knowing me and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have feel free to like the video I always really really appreciate that and if you haven't already and you're new to the channel subscribe down in the corner if you click the notification bell then you'll be alerted when I post and if you subscribe then it might help me get my voice back so that would also be pretty cool. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next one and by the time you see this, I will be back in the UK so I'm sure I'm going to make some videos there too. See you in the next one guys. I'm out.